If you're new to ukulele, you may have gotten a shock recently. Your beautiful ukulele subtly develops sharp frets. And this happens in the winter time. I noticed in the last week, all of a sudden, about 20 of my ukuleles have sprouted sharp frets. And that is annoying. And it's also a warning that your ukuleles are drying out if you've got expensive solid tops or all solid ukuleles they could be in danger of getting damaged from drying out. So you want to keep the humidity, at least I want to keep the humidity, about 35% or above. When it gets, starts getting below 35%, then my ukulele start sprouting sharp frets. These ukuleles are quality ones. They are very good. You can pay a lot more and buy ukuleles that may never give you problems with frets. But I have noticed that Aklot, Kamis, and some of my favorite brands do sprout sharp frets. Once I bought this kit, I quit worrying about it. This is available from Harbor Freight Tools. three or four dollars. There are 12 different kinds of files and they work great. I usually prefer this one that is round. Now other people are going to tell you their professional ways to file frets. I have no patience to put down tape or anything else. On my inexpensive ukuleles, I just go right after them. You can feel the sharp fret. Sometimes you can feel it on top. Sometimes it's right here on the edge and your fingernail will catch on it. But you can file these down. Just as if it was a nasty fingernail. Patience is the key. Do it and 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 keep doing it until you don't have any problem with your frets anymore. What I do, and I haven't done it obviously this year until yesterday because I've got sharp, sharp frets on my ukuleles. Usually in January or December, late December, when the weather starts getting cold and stays cold for a period of time, I will, I will use my whole house humidifier. And honestly, I don't know how much this really improves the ukulele frets. I can see because it tells you what the humidity is. So I can control the humidity using it, so I suppose it works. I'll show you my humidifier, but understand I've seen some others in, uh, on Amazon for maybe $65 or so for humidifying large rooms that don't require filters. You'll just have to decide what will work for you. If you've only got one ukulele, the simple solution will be to buy a humidifier that actually fits in the ukulele case or in the sound hole. There are various kinds of 
single instrument humidifiers. But let's go look at my whole house humidifier. Because you understand if the humidity gets really low, not only is it bad for your instruments, it's also bad for you. And the whole house humidifier will help. This is actually quite a, an instrument itself, a, an appliance actually. I've had it now, this is probably going on the third year. But this is big. There's my humidity. You turn it on and the humidity will rise. You, f you can fill this with water. This is where the water goes. You put it right in there. This thing actually works really well. It has filters that I replace every year and probably should replace about twice a year. I only use this maybe three months a year. So if you replace a filter for about $20, I think, a couple of times a year, that's not too bad. I bought this on Amazon, a special low price, I think, of around $120. I recommend it. So, if you've developed sharp frets, you can handle them easily with a file. Also, you could use sandpaper as well. Just be sure you don't scratch your fretboard, and I never have that I can tell so this is not really not really a difficult job thanks for watching